packages. A Java package is a group of similar types of classes, interfaces, and other sub-packages. Now, if you have a large size project that consists of hundreds of Java classes, you really need to organize them into packages. You can think of packages like uh, file directories in your PC. So this will allow you to categorize files, control access to your classes, and avoid potential naming conflicts. Classes with the same name can be put into different packages. So then packages avoid name collision. So the package keyword is used to declare a package. In our example, let's declare a package vehicle.car. So here, vehicle is a top-level package and car is a sub-package, right? Now, of course, there are some rules to define packages. Package declaration is done at the beginning of the source file. Only one package declaration can be done per source file. And if no package is declared, then the class belongs to the default package. And the package name must be hierarchical and separated by dots. Types of packages. So we have two types of packages in Java. Built-in package. The already defined package like java.lang, dot asterisk, java.io, dot asterisk, etc. Um, they're known as built-in packages. You can also have a user-defined package. So the package we create is called a user-defined package. For example, the one that we used earlier, vehicle.car. That's a user-defined package. Import keyword. So we can use the import keyword to import built-in and user-defined packages into our Java source file. Our class can refer to a class that is in another package, and we can use its name directly in your class. We can access the classes and interface of another package with the import keyword. So we have two different ways how to import any class into different packages. The first one, if you import the package name dot class name, then only this class will be available for use. For example, you see this on the slide. If we use import vehicle dot car dot Ferrari, that means that we will use only the Ferrari class in the sub package car in the top package vehicle. Yeah. So the second way to import, if you use a package name dot asterisk, then all the classes and the interfaces of this package will be accessible, but the classes and the interface inside the sub packages will not be available for use. Now, there is one exception to the import rule. All classes in the java.lang package are imported by default. But that means that we do not need to import classes in the java.lang package into our code. The system class can be given as an example for this exception. The system class is predefined in the java.lang package. So, we can use it in our code without importing. Sequence of program. So as you see here in the diagram, in Java, a Java source file can contain any or all of the following three internal parts. A package statement, import statements, and a public class declaration. A Java source file should have a public class declaration. All other statements are optional. The program should be written in a flow package with imports and class. So why don't we do some examples with packages? In fact, we did an implementation of packages in all of our earlier examples, but 
we do need to learn the package concept, I think, in detail. So let's get into it. So in the object-oriented programming project, just right-click on the source folder and select New, Package. Specify the package name as Package Operation. Okay, so let's create a new class. Right-click on Package Operation and select New, Class. Now specify the class name as Multiply. And it means that the multiply class in the package operation package. So let's start to code. Let's declare an int method multiply with two int parameters, a and b. And we return a multiply b expression from the method. Now let's create a new package for the test. Right click on the source folder and select new package specify the package name as package test okay so let's create a new class right click on the package test package and select new and class specify the class name as test and select the checkbox to add to the main method now First, we need to import the scanner class for getting the input from the user. And we choose the import scanner class in java.util package to import the scanner class. java.util is a built-in package. And now we see a message to enter two numbers by using the print method. So why don't we go ahead and declare two variables that are named number one and number two with the int type and assign the next int methods of the scanner class to these variables. Great. So now let's create an object from the multiply class by using the new operator. So the multiply class is not part of this package. So we got an error, right? You're expecting that? <laughs> um, so what does that mean? We've got to import this class. Now, in order to import this class, just Hover your mouse pointer on the multiply keyword and import options are shown. And we'll choose the first option, import multiply in package operation. Okay, so it looks like it's added after the scanner class definition. Now, this is what we would call a user defined package. So let's print the multiplication of numbers and we will call the multiply method of the multiply class and we pass two numbers as parameters okay so let's run the code we enter 12 and 8 The multiply method in the multiply class is called and it displays result is 96. So let's try to change the access modifier of the multiply method in the multiply class. So if we change the public to private and let's save the class. So see how we get an error in the main method because the method multiply is not visible to the other class. So, in these cases, Eclipse can show us a quick fix dialog. Now, this dialog provides a whole list of possible corrections. Now, if we want to solve this problem, just select Change Visibility of the Multiply Method to Public option. Okay, so let's open up the Multiply class and see our changes. Let's create a new class and specify the package name as 
method operation and class name as add. Let's declare an int method add with two int parameters a and b. We return a plus b as the expression from the method and we'll save the class. Now let's open the main class test. We have two classes in the package operation package, multiply and add. So if we use the asterisk mark after the package definition, we can access all of the classes in this package. So let's create an object from the class add. And see how we didn't get in there, so there's no need to import this class. Let's print the sum of the numbers. We call the add method of add class, and we pass two numbers as parameters. Okay, let's run the code. We'll enter 12 and 8. So the multiply method in the multiply class is called and it displays result is 96. Add method in the add class is called and it displays result is 20.